guys, hope you're all well. Today I'm going to be doing a first impressions of the Their Real Push Up Liner in Beyond Green and the Their Real Mascara in Brown. Um, Benefit have come out with um, new colours of their amazing products um, called Killer Colours. Um, I think there is, I think there's a, there's a green eyeliner obviously, there's a purple eyeliner and then the original black and then I'm not sure if there's any more but I know that there's also this brown mascara and there's a blue mascara I'm not sure if there's any more so I got sent those products from Benefit last week so I thought I will do a little video with them and I thought first impressions is really good because um, I wasn't really keen on the push up liner um, the black one when it first came out so I was really intrigued to see whether the formula is a little bit different or if maybe I've changed my technique maybe I didn't use it properly so yeah, um, I hope you enjoy this video. I don't know why, but I feel really nervous today. Anyway, enough of that, because if you're new to my channel, you're thinking, I don't care, I just want to see this uh, first impression. So I'll let you watch the video, and I'll speak to you guys soon. So first of all, all over the lid, I'm just popping on Peach Smoothie from Makeup Geek, and I'm then putting this in the upper crease area, just all over the lid, really, just to make our eyelids nice and ready for the eyeliner. I'm not going to go crazy with eyeshadow today, which makes a change because usually I want to use about 4,000 colours but today I'm just popping this on just to add a little bit of a better colour to my eyelid and um, I'm just going to pop another colour in the crease just to add a little bit of dimension now in the crease I'm just going in with a little bit of frappe from Makeup Geek followed by a little bit of mocha just to deepen the crease just a little bit On the inner corner I'm just popping on, um, what is this, gold digger, just a gold eyeshadow just for that inner corner highlight. Now we're ready to um, see what the push up liner's like. So it comes in this pen um, like uh, packaging um, and then you just twist the end and a bit of product comes out. But um, I've just done this eye first just to see how to use the product and I'd say for each um, time you um, put the product on your eye um, I'd only twist it up once because it dries out really quick and once it dries it goes a little bit crumbly so you want to keep it as wet and as creamy as possible um, when the um, black one first came out um, I wasn't really a fan because I found it really hard to work with um, but let's see how I feel about this because on this eye I, wasn't, I was more impressed than I thought I'd be so yeah so I'm just going to pump it up once I think that was more like twice actually so I pumped it up twice. So what I'm going to do, because it's got this angled um, corner, I'm going to draw a line from the outer corner of my eye towards the tail of my eyebrow. Seeing how long I want the wing. I don't want it too dramatic today. You watch, it will go really big now. And then I turn the pen around Hopefully there's still enough product in here. I'm just going to go back on myself. So I've created a triangle, like so. Now I'm going to twist this up once more just to fill in that gap. And it is very creamy, but I think it just dries extra quick, so you have to do each section at a time and not fanny about really, don't like mess around. Um, just get on with it and um, you can't really work slow with this product so doing little pumps at each time is the best thing to do really so I've done the ma majority of the wing now I'm going not the majority of the wing the outer wing now I'm going to pump this up once more and draw along the lash line and down to the inner corner with whatever I've got left on here. 
okay, so that's the eyeliner done. Um, that went on a lot easier than I thought it would. I thought this would be really drying and really crumbly, but like I said, I think if you work um, doing small little pumps at a time um, and using that product while it's still creamy, then it doesn't crumble. So if you pumped out loads and tried to do it in one um, big swoop, then I think it would dry too quick and it would be a bit of a mess. But I think that's the best thing to do. And I think if you wipe it off in between each time you use the product, because um, obviously it will be a few days, it will then dry out what you've left on the top there. Um, I think if you, sorry, I keep disappearing. Um, I think if you wipe that off, then you should be fine. Um, so this is the push-up liner in Beyond Green. Now, um, I think that these are waterproof because they are, well, I remember the black one being quite hard to get off. Yeah, 24 hour and waterproof. So that's good if you've got a special occasion to go to or an occasion where you know you think you'll be getting wet or you might be crying or you know you need it to last all day. These are the product for you. So um, I might have to try the black one again because like I said, I didn't used to be impressed with it. But now I've used this, I am loving it. Um, it was a lot easier than I remember putting it on. So yeah, that's really cool. So I do like it. I think um, products like this scare me a little bit at first when I haven't used them before. And um, so I think um, I'll improve um, the more I use it. But they've got some really cool colours. I really like the purple, I think it's purple, and then a blue mascara. But I um, have the brown mascara, which comes in this really nice packaging. So this is the Let the Their Real Brown Mascara. Um, I've got the black one, which is always fab, and everyone loves that. So I thought I'd try the brown with this um, green eyeliner because brown and green goes well together. It's not something I'd usually wear because it's a bit too natural of a colour for me. Um, but if you're into not so dramatic makeup, then the brown mascara is always good for that sort of person. Or if you're really fair, obviously I'm really blonde, but I like wearing black mascara. But brown mascara is always a bit more natural. So I'm just going to see what this looks like, even though I've done this already, but you know what I mean. And as soon as it comes out, um, on the wand it's very brown, it's very obviously brown, whereas a lot of mascaras aren't, they're sort of a bit like mm, dark brown, this is really purely brown. So this is a really nice brown, like proper brown, but you know, the uh, uh, green eyeliner comes out um, more of like a deep green, so it's really wearable, it's not neon, so it's not in your face, which I wouldn't mind, because obviously I like playing with makeup, but um, this is such a colour that anyone could wear. It works for people who may not necessarily want to venture too far out of their comfort zone when it comes to makeup because it's not really obviously oh my god she's wearing really bright green um, liquid eye gel liner but it makes it a bit different and it's really nice um, I really like it but yeah this brown um, mascara is quite brown I don't know if you can tell if it's like a little bit more subtle than usual um, this wand on this mascara everyone raves about and I do think it's good. It really se separates your lashes so you don't get clumpy lashes with it. Um, but like I said, this colour is perfect for people who want more of a subtle look. And this mascara is, I think it's, I'm not sure if this is waterproof as well, I mean, I don't think it is waterproof, but it's very um, long wearing. Let me just double check. No, it's not waterproof, but it's very long wearing and um, makes your lashes look very long and separated and lovely. I'm just going to put a little bit of highlight on the brow bone. I'm going to use a shroom from MAC. That is my first impression of the Benefit Their Real um, Brow Mascara and the Benefit Their Real Push Up Liner in Beyond Green. So thank you so much for watching, give it a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video. Um, also, leave me some like um, requests down below because I feel a little uninspired lately. I think it's because I'm so busy, I've got so much going on at the moment. I just, when I think, oh I need to do a video, like today I knew that I wanted to do this video. Um, so it's fine, but I just sort of feel a bit like, uh, I need some inspiration. I want to do something a bit different as well. So I need to do a little bit of research and a little bit of figuring out what I want to do. Sorry that the angle of this camera, I feel like I want to put my head up but then you only see one eye. But so I need to have my head down here like this. But um, yeah, thank you so much for watching um, and I'll speak to you guys soon.